Hey guys, so I feel like I have not talked to you in a while, even though it's been like about a week, but um, Steve and I kind of took the last week of 2021 off because I think the last time we vlogged was like right after Christmas. So we actually went to Vegas for New Year's with our friends, which was so much fun. Um, and we kind of did like an unplugged trip. So we did not vlog. I barely posted on Instagram. Like I just really wanted to be present, but we are back to vlogging today. So I'm very excited. Um, I need to finish getting ready. Where's my lip liner? Oh, here it is. One of actually my biggest resolutions is this channel. Um, I love this channel so much, the vlog channel. Like I know we have a way smaller um, community over here than I like I do on my main beauty channel, but this community is so special to me. And I know that you guys that watch over here really enjoy this channel and getting to see more of our lives with your feedback, which makes me so happy because I just love to vlog on this channel, hang out with you guys more like casual. So a huge resolution that both Steven and I have is to make more content for this channel in 2022. I would love to be able to do like one video every week. That would be amazing. So kind of what I'm shooting for. Yeah, super excited about that. Um, and just showing you guys more of our life, like sharing more of everything with you guys. But I feel like at the end of the year, we just really needed that like little like one week refresh restart where we were kind of unplugged and just and just had a little bit of time because the holidays get so crazy for literally everyone. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. It's like after the holidays, you feel like you need a vacation from the holidays because you're like, oh, exhausted, even though that was technically a holiday. I'm sure y'all know what I mean. Especially because we hosted Thanksgiving, we hosted Christmas. So we had a lot of stuff going on, people in and out of our house and all that kind of thing. But this lip pencil, I am so obsessed with this. The Milani Can't Even Lip Pencil. It came in one of the Juicy Jazz Milani collab packs, but I think you can buy it separately too. So good, love it. But right now I'm getting ready. It's a Friday night and we actually had the first snow of the season here today. We got like, I don't know, three or four inches or so. So Steven and I were cooped up in the house all day. We were both working, but we have not left the house today because we were kind of snowed in this morning. So we got the first snowfall, which I feel like the older I get, the less I really like when it snows, but it's okay. We didn't really get that much. So the roads looks to be clear now, and we're actually going to head to the mall because I ordered the new iPhone. I'm not super into techie kind of stuff. Like you guys watch me probably know that. Like I don't always need the new iPhone, but recently on Instagram, I've just seen people with like their stories and their pictures that have the new iPhone. It just looks so crystal clear. Like especially the stories, like the video looks like you are right there with them. Like it's so clear. I figured getting the new iPhone would be helpful for this channel as well so then I can have even better quality when I'm vlogging on my phone for you guys. So I went ahead and ordered it, but I ended up just getting the black one because they have that in stock. So we're gonna go pick it up and get some better quality content. We actually have to go to a mall that's kind of far away. It's like an hour away because they didn't have it at any of the malls near us. They have a really good home goods and home sense over there. So I think we're gonna hit those up too to try and get some more stuff for the house because now that we took down all the Christmas decor, our house looks so barren. I'm like, this house, it looks so empty to me and just so not homey and inviting. And I'm like, oh my God, is this what our house looked like before the Christmas decor? Like, I don't know. Let me know if you guys feel that way too when you take down your Christmas decor, but I just feel like it looks so barren. So we need to get on filling this house up, making it homey. We took down all the Christmas decor yesterday, which was super sad, but it's January 7th, so it needed to be done. All right, so I'm gonna go grab a jacket and then let's get out of here. I got this new, like, it's like a puffer coat, but it looks like leather. It's from Abercrombie, it's not real leather, it's vegan, um, but it's so cute and I like love it. So I've been wanting to wear it. So I have that on because I think it's gonna be freezing outside with this snow. Actually, I've not been outside all day, so I don't even know what the temperature's like, but we actually did get a lot of snow, I'll show you guys. This is what the backyard looks like right now. Steven shoveled the driveway before, so we have a way out. <laughs> That's for Princey. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go down there this morning? Oh, this morning? a little area for him to be able to go to the bathroom. So cute. You don't like the snow. You're a warm weather baby. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, this coat must be really warm because I'm wearing it inside of our house and I'm sweating. Oh, oh gosh, but it is freezing outside. Woo! All right, we'll see you guys when we get to the mall. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Ooh. Steven's truck looks cold. <laughs> okay, we finally got to the mall. It's so cold. <laughs> we're walking in now. It took forever to get here, like way longer than I realized, and we're like an hour late for the appointment. So I hope that they give me the phone and don't make me like come back. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that was like so simple until like five seconds. So highly recommend. We got it. <laughs> easy piece. Yeah, but it was like so easy because I just paid for it online, just go there, pick it up, it took five seconds, there's no line. Um, so that was good. This mall is like deserted. So I think we're gonna go try and get some dinner now. Okay, so got the phone. We were gonna go to Cheesecake Factory because they have one at this mall, but we're like, we have a cheesecake at our mall, so I'm like, why are we gonna go here? Whenever we go like far from home, I'm always like, let's go somewhere different. So it's not super different, but we decided to go to P.F. Chang's. Be fun. <laughs> because 
Do you remember when we first started dating? We'd always drive down here. No. What? To go to P.F. Chang's. Every once in a while, I would say all the time. No, we went for like every single anniversary. You don't remember that? I remember coming down a couple times. I can't believe you don't remember that. Anyways, I was like, let's go to P.F. Chang's. I thought you knew the significance behind the P.F. Chang's. <laughs> what? Oh my God, okay. Anyways, that's where we're gonna head to, so let's go. Yeah. All right, we just had a nice dinner and now we are heading into Home Goods to see what they got. Hopefully, some good stuff to fill up our house that is now looks like vacant <laughs> without all our Christmas stuff. I think there's a Home Sense here too. Oh my God, and a Target. Wow, thank God we don't live here. I would just come to this strip mall every day. <laughs> I do really need a new wreath now that we took like the holiday one down, but I feel like I'm not ready for a spring one yet. I just need like a winter one so i gotta find that can't decide if this one is cool or weird like i like this but is it weird they have one behind that has like white flowers i kind of like this one i'll bring it home and see how it looks steven hates it so it's a no <laughs> i thought it was cute maybe leaving with nothing which maybe that's for the better what's up you guys so it's a couple days later we're taking a quick little break from the vlog to let you guys know about today's sponsor you know if you watch our channel that we love the verb energy bars i've talked to you guys about these so many times because they are so good they're like tiny little energy bars but they're infused with organic green tea so they give you the same amount of caffeine that espresso does but they don't give you those jitters i really really love these they're great if you're like in the afternoon like i am right now and need like a little midday pick me up they're low in sugar and 90 calories gluten-free dairy-free and the so today I'm gonna have chocolate chip banana bread. They also have a new flavor, which is the red velvet cake. This is so good. I have this a lot in the month of December. They're delicious. It literally tastes like red velvet, like cake batter. So, so good. I also really like the chocolate peanut butter one and they have like a vanilla latte one that's also delicious, but they'll ship them right to your door. This is what they look like. Mm. They're also good before you go to the gym. So Verb is hooking you guys up with an awesome offer. You can click our link in the description box to get Verb Energy Starter Kit for only $8.95. So that'll get you one full bag of 12 bars at any flavor of your choice, plus three extra bars of their top selling flavors. Again, all for $8.95 plus free shipping. So definitely click down below in the description box and thank you guys for supporting our channel as always. So I'm gonna finish this and then show you guys some house updates. Okay, so a couple updates. After our unsuccessful home goods trip the other day, we actually ended up going to our local home goods, which half the time I feel like they have nothing there, but we did find some trees, so I need your guys' input because I wanted to get something for the front door. I feel like once we took the Christmas tree down, it was just like... Barren, yeah, it's like all empty, I guess. Yeah, like it looked so sad. Like, I don't know, I was like, was this what our house always looked like? Like, I don't know, but I'm gonna show you guys. Because basically this table, this whole little setup used to always be right here, but when we put the Christmas tree here, we obviously had to move it and we put it here in this kind of like, I don't know what this area is, it's just like a central area in the house and i actually like the way this looks so much better here because i'll show you guys yeah there is actually a light like obviously it's during the day but at night there's like a spotlight that shines in it because this is what the entrance looks like now which i feel like it does look a little barren because it used to be like right in the center like where prince is but i noticed that whenever people would come in our house even though there was more than enough room to walk around that table and like the rug People would never like walk through here. They would always just like turn and go through our dining room, probably because you can like see that the kitchen's over there. So maybe that's why people do that anyways. But I felt like people weren't walking through this way, like into our house because they didn't want to like walk on the carpet or whatever. So I feel like that's better pushed back there to keep this space more open and like inviting like, hi, come in. You don't need to walk around my stuff, like, you know? So we like that better there, but then I felt like this area was super barren. So we got these two trees from Home Goods, and I need you guys to let me know which one you like better. I think I know which one I like better, but I wanna hear your input. So we wanted to have some sort of tree on like either side of the door, because this area was just so empty. So on this side we have this olive tree, which I wanted an olive tree to begin with, but I feel like this one's like kind of sad. I don't know, but this is the best one that we could find at Home Goods. Um, like the pot and stuff is pretty. I like the pot, it's kind of like, rustic-y looking, I guess, I don't know. So we have that. And then on the other side, we have something a little bit more like tropical vibes, which obviously our house is not tropical, but I still really like this. It's like a black and tan wicker. And then this isn't a palm tree, but what kind of tree is this? I feel like you said it's it in the store. It's a fern plant, it's not even a tree really, it's a plant. Yeah, but I feel like it looks cute. Like obviously it's tropically, but I think it looks pretty. Um, and this one was actually way cheaper too. It was literally half the price of the olive tree because this one was on clearance. Um, so it was only $90 for this. So let me know which one you guys like better. I think I like this one better. I think it just like takes up more space and just like... It looks more full. This one looks like... Yeah. Like 
it's missing. It's like it's missing the top and it's missing something, you know. Yeah, it's just like kind of sad, I don't know. Yeah. And for being double the price too, like I feel like it doesn't look no. way better. So do you want to switch it out and put like the other yeah. plant here and then we'll see? Because we did buy two because I was like at Home Goods, once you see it, you'll never find it again. So we got the two and then I figured I'd just return whichever one we don't keep. Okay, yeah. I feel like that looks better, but let me know your thoughts down below because we love your guys' input always. You guys always have good ideas. So obviously we'll like, you know, floof it around, make them look the same. But for right now, I think it's looking good. Prince is like, what the heck is this? Now this room, we still have not done anything since we showed it to you guys last time. I did, you know, order the light, but it obviously still isn't in yet. But we did end up getting the, um, what do they call it? I always forget the name of it, the gallery wall frame. So I ordered them from Amazon because let me just tell you to find frames that are big, that are like matted, because I wanted them to be like 20 by 20. We like measured and I knew the size that I wanted. They're so expensive, but I was able to find these ones on Amazon and I think they're really cute. So I'm gonna go grab them and show you. We kind of just laid them all on the floor in my office right now to lay them out. So we got eight total. Yeah. But they're actually, they look really, really nice and they're 20 by 20 and I got, for two of them, it was $50 where the best I could find online outside of Amazon was one for $50. So since we needed eight, it was like really expensive, but the two for 50 was good. So they're only $25 each. The only thing that I will say though, is this is not actually glass. It's plastic, yeah. Right, but it, it doesn't look any different. Like the only way that you would know that it's not glass is if you touched yeah, yeah. it. If you like felt it. Yeah. Right, but like why, people should not be touching our, yeah, regardless. <laughs> like the stuff on the wall, you know what well, I mean? If we go to clean it, we gotta be careful with like what we clean it with because it, I'm sure the plastic will scratch. True, true. Okay, it's that's good to know. Scratch. Yeah, but they're also a lot lighter, which I feel like is nice because the glass ones are gonna be so heavy and I was nervous about putting all of these heavy picture frames because we're gonna have eight of them. Yeah, so like one will be here. And then one here, up top. And then also in these other boxes. So. Exactly, and I haven't fully decided. I think I want to do black and white pictures like from our wedding and maybe not even all from our wedding, just like pictures of us and our family and our friends and stuff yeah. like that. I think black and white's the way to go. Yes. The only thing is that it's 20 by 20, so you're gonna have to figure out how to crop it to make it look right. But usually pictures are like four by six. Oh, right, true, true. Or like this way. So yeah. You're gonna figure out how to make it a square. Right, or I'm considering potentially doing some sort of other like black and white picture that's just like a photo that I find. Like, like stock photo or something like that? Yeah, like or a piece of art like that you can order online or whatever that's like a, you know, on paper or whatever that you can put in here. Um, but I kind of want to see them up to decide that, you know, like see what they look like up. <laughs> well, yeah, I go better anyway, so it came with all the mounting hardware, so I won't be that bad. Okay, so are you ready to get started? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. We did also order a big canvas right here that that's coming in. Um, I'll save it for when it comes in to show you guys, but it should oh, be really is that cute. 20 by 40? Yeah, it's like a big canvas that we ordered online. Um, yeah, I'm excited for it. It should be cool. And then I think over there is where we want to do the TV and then some sort of like, small I don't know, table. small table or something, mostly to hide the cords from the TV. We like two little chairs to go next to like the little like yeah. table, like more like a console, kind of under the TV thing, whatever. But. Mm hmm. Yeah, or we could put maybe little stools over here. I don't know. We haven't fully decided yet, but <sighs> making moves, making moves, <laughs> at least trying to. That room is a disaster. We'll get to that eventually. Yeah. yeah, the room over here. We're working on this. This is going to get done and that is going to be like, you guys are going to see all that. But right now it's just a disaster. So don't look there. Okay. So while Stephen works on that, I wanted to show you guys. I told you earlier when we were in Home Goods that I needed a new wreath for the front door, just kind of like an all seasons wreath that could be used in these like off periods. And I found a really cute one at Target the other day. So I got it, like how cute is this? I thought it was really pretty and it's actually pretty big. It's only $35, so, or 34. I have to like floof it because it was kind of like shoved in the bag, but I'm gonna put this on the front door because I thought that was really cute. He even liked this one, even though he did not like the one that I found in Home Goods. So I'm gonna add that to the front door because we have no wreath right now. And then also, I'm excited about this. So I ordered us a new bedspread from Amazon. It literally just came in. I'm a little scared though, because it says on here, where did I see it? It said queen somewhere. It said like queen blanket, but I ordered a king comforter. So I'm like, oh God. Then on here it says 90 by 90, which is a king, I think. Oh yeah, right here it says queen faux fur blanket. I don't know. But I, we just have like one of those plain white, like du they're basically supposed to be like a duvet filler, but we use it as a comforter. I always kind of had that, but I wanted to get something a little bit different. So this was pretty affordable for like a king comforter on Amazon, so I ordered it. But 
You never quite know what you're gonna get when you order things from Amazon, so let's see. I also feel like once I get this out of this bag, it's never gonna go back in, but let's see. Oh my gosh, it's like a sport. I just have to break this. All right, there we go. Let's see. Oh, it feels really soft. So that's a positive. Ooh, okay. Wait, this could be a vibe. This could be cute. Is it? I think it might be cute. <laughs> it looks pretty big too, like heavy. It feels really warm also. I'm like, do we like this? I mean, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the bed. I feel like it's cute. I have to see it all on, but I don't dislike it. For right now though, I'm gonna go add the wreath and see how that looks. Okay, it is frigid outside today, like literally 15 degrees, but I wanna show you guys the wreath. I feel like it looks cute. I'll back up a little bit to show you guys. Sacrifice the freezing cold, literally no shoes on. But here is the wreath. I feel like it looks cute. You know, just I have to floof it out a little bit, but a little something because I feel like our front door just looks so barren with none of the Christmas stuff anymore. All right, we're going upstairs now to try and see how this comforter looks. It feels really soft though, right? Oh, you guys can see now from like the aerial view. Like don't the little trees look nice? I feel like they just add a little zhuzh, you know, a little something. Prince is always right with us. Okay, we just put the new comfort on. I hate it. Like, I don't I don't even think it, maybe it's not the comforter. It's just like, I feel like it doesn't go with the bed. I just. It's a blanket. Yeah, it really is a blanket, not a comforter. It, I mean, it's warm, but like, ugh, I'll show you guys, but it's a no for me. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look bad. I, I don't know. It's just like not the vibe that I'm going for. So this, we will be returning. <clears throat> Always put underneath the comforter as like another blanket. Then I feel like it'll be a thousand degrees in here. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we could leave it, just like keep it as a blanket, but I'm not gonna leave it as the comforter. I wanna get something different. And I feel like the color doesn't really go with the color of our bed. It's just like, I don't know. Not my fave, unfortunately. So back to the drawing board on that. If you guys have a comforter you really love, let me know. It is really soft though. Like I feel like it'd be good as a blanket, not so good as a comforter itself. Back to the drawing board. Oh, there's Prince's little bone. <laughs> well, I guess we're keeping it now that Prince is going on it, but we'll keep it as a blanket. He likes it. Steven is all done with his masterpiece. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I literally love it. Obviously we still have like the protective coating and stuff on these because we have to fill them with the pictures, but oh, it looks so beautiful. It's like exactly kind of how I envisioned it because I knew I wanted to do these frames and that's why I chose to do this picture molding and stuff and I wanted to do two inside of it. It looks perfect. I mean, it looks a little weird with like all these butterflies, but obviously there'll be like black and white pictures in there, but really, really love that. And then do the TV here. And I feel like the room will be looking good. Well, they look good. Well, they look good. the numbers it took to get that. Oh my gosh. Well, good job. You and your chicken scratch like yeah. that, but <laughs> that only you can read, but that's a good thing. It worked out, right? Yeah, no, it looks great. You did such a good job. Thank you. Love it. All right, so we are going to end today's vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. We love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting us on this channel. And we will see you guys very soon with more vlogs. Bye.